I am currently unemployed and didn't get accepted into uni, which means I have all the free time in the world to make 3D models just for you. This time I made you a very realistic model that's available on my Gumroad for... Uh, I don't actually know yet. Seven years or something. Link in the description. Now before you go, damn that's a lot. I mean, I'd probably say the same thing. Just know that I spent around 30 hours on this model. 7 divided by 30, boom, 23 cents per hour. I'd be better off working at McDonald's at this rate. Anyways, here's how I made the model. I started off by finding some reference images and collecting them all in Photoshop. I import the reference image and the base I made in my last video. Guess where you can find the download to that? My Gumroad, of course. Well done. Well done. Now, go check it out. From the base, I selected the required vertices to create a top. Do I have footage of that? Nope, since I forgot to press record. It should end up looking similar to this though. Right, do the same for the pants, select the vertices, duplicate, separate by selection, move some vertices around, and retopologize a bit. For the shoes, I wanted platform boots, so first created the platform, then created the sort of sock around the foot and reshaped it. Decided to add some straps too, one at the top and another at the base. For this project, I wanted to learn how to make and bake my own textures. Did I ever even touch baking before making this video? Yeah, no. It's a learning process for both you and me. Alright, so I applied a multi-res modifier to the top, shorts, and shoes. Multi-res essentially subdivides your object without actually subdividing it. In other words, this allows you to sculpt in great detail whilst the topology and vertex count stays the same. I sculpted texture on the top, shorts, the sock thing, the platform, and the straps. I modeled her a ring too. For the hair, I tried this method. That failed. So instead, I used the Bezier circle to create this shape, lowered the resolution, added the path, set the object to the Bezier circle, and boom! I messed up. At some point later in this video, I thought it would be a genius idea to record myself accidentally deleting a couple files. Just for a joke, really. And well, that joke turned into a reality. Which means I've now lost five hours of footage. <laughs> it's actually all recorded, so enjoy this little clip. Stupid! Oh, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I can't just scrap this video, so for the next two minutes, I'll bold editing. That's it really. Enjoy the video and support me on my gum road. And boom, a tube I can use to shape her hair. At some point I used part of a sphere to create bangs and then carry it on with the rest of the hair. I found that the model looked a bit boring, so I tried making fishnets. I did this by duplicating the legs and fixed the topology to have all even squares. Apply subdivision modifier. Then unsubdivided the mesh, added the decimate modifier, set the unsubdivide with one iteration, and it somehow ended up looking like this. Don't ask me how, I don't know either. But what I did know is that she needed more detail. So I added ruffle under the top, fixed the straps, created armbands and made a choker. Nice detail there. Time to bake, right? Yeah, no, we still gotta make the objects that we'll bake the textures onto. That's pretty easy though, since you can just take the object you sculpted on and delete the multi-res modifier. Then add some detail that you want to stick out manually. I mainly added a lot on the shorts. Once that was done, I separated the objects into high and low quality groups to make my life easier when it comes to baking. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not baking yet. Still gonna mark seams and you be in rap, you know. Instead of making you watch three hours of me doing that, here's how the UV and wraps turned out. Anyways, after all that, it was finally time to bake. When you're baking, make sure to set the render engine to cycles. You can set it back to EV after. I joined the objects that were gonna be one texture together for both the low and high quality groups created a new image that's not attached to anything, making sure it's selected. Also select the high and then the low quality objects. 
set the bake type to normal, check selected to active, bake, and boom! We're gonna pretend that that all worked out perfectly first try. So I did the same for the other objects and attached the normals. Looks pretty good now. For the hair, I attached the hair texture and got rid of the black using a transparent BSDF and setting the blend mode to alpha hashed. You know, I usually hate doing hair, but this time it felt quite relaxing. And like the damn skin! Just look at how much fun I had aligning all the textures. Just look at it. Damn, there's a lot of complaining in the script. So I made the scalp brown, made the seams between the textures invisible, and baked all the skin again. Added some extra eyebrows too, to make it look more three-dimensional, I guess. Oh, and the eyes I stole from a model I made in the past. I wasn't lazy or anything, I was just, you know, it was just convenient. Finally, we can color the clothes. After adding a base color, I used lace textures to add extra patterns to the clothes. I didn't like the shorts blue, so I made them black instead. At some point, I added spikes to the choker since it looked quite boring, textured the shoes and added shoelaces giving them their own material. Guess what I did after all that extra texturing? I baked the textures again. It still looked a bit boring after that, so I added the Fresnel or Orthoptus may fit a Fresnel prism texture to the legs, making it look like she's wearing tights under tights. I once again stole something from my old model, the mouth this time. I put it inside her head and tested out if the positioning was right by creating some shape keys. And after that, the modeling was finished. All I still had to do was add a rig and I'd be done. Yeah, I messed it up three times. Got an error the first time, forgot to update the rig the second time, also forgot to attach bones for the hair third time. But you know, it's not a big deal. Generate the rig and we're almost done. Still had to make the eyes move though, so I attached those. Created blinking shape keys too, that I then attached to custom bones. I'm just not a big fan of the blinking the rigify add-on comes with. Brother, uh, what's that? And spent a little more time fixing the weight painting. You know, just a little. And, and she's done. She's finally done. Guess what? She's available on my Gumroad for probably 7 euros, link in the description. No, but seriously, thank you for the support. I didn't expect people to actually like my silly, stupid content. I guess it's time to edit the video now. Damn it.